I'm at the field this morning with the uh, RC Powers F117 version 3. So this is a about a 28 inch wingspan, I think, 19 ounces. I've got a Microjet version 3 on there, which is what I had on the version 2 plane, and it wasn't fast, but it flew just fine. I decided to go only Elevons on this as opposed to the V-tails, so I don't have the V-tails yet, but may add those. And uh, the setup here is very nice inside. Got plenty of room for the battery and ESC, uh, ESC and receiver here. This is a little launching handle that Dave was talking about on the forum, so you can grab it, launch it out straight like this, as opposed to doing the side saddle, which I used to do uh, from the side here with the old plane. And Dave assures uh, us that there's no risk of uh, hitting your hand on that prop. So we'll see how that works out. I'm sure he's right. Um, I have a little magnet here on the hatch to keep it uh, shut, although I have a feeling that the suction from the prop will probably keep that shut. So let's see how it does. I've got full throws, but 50% expo on here. Yeah. All right, here it goes. Very easy to launch as opposed to the side saddle. Nice roll with only the uh, elevons on there. Let's try a loop. Oh, a lot easier to loop than the version 2. Now I know Dave has the Dave and Scott had the V-tails on theirs, and this is looping just fine with no V-tails. Looks beautiful, man. Okay, let me take it up and trim it a little bit. Oh, unlimited vertical on the Microjet version 3. This is the most, I got to say, it's the most maneuverable plane uh, without thrust vectoring that I've flown in a long time. There it goes vertical. Beautiful launch. Super fast roll. Amazingly aerobatic. I know what Dave was saying. You know, Dave was saying something about the way the elevons are angled on this plane. And I, I know what he's saying. The way they're angled, you don't get the scrub off of speed like with the last plane. The last plane, the uh, elevons were very straight. These are angled, so they bleed off less speed. And you can see that in the loops. The version 2 plane used to go up into a loop and stall right about there. Because it would scrub off so much speed with those elevons. And this plane does not do that. It's a totally different F-117 than the version 2. i got to say that. Look at the speed with the microjet. A little squirrely with the tailwind there. This doesn't have thrust vectoring, so uh, it does get hit by the tailwind and we'll need a little bit more control.
little high alpha action there. The V2 was pretty good at high alpha. It would start wagging its wings once it got to the limit. And like that, Dave says in the video, um, when the plane stalls, this plane stalls nose down, meaning you've got a lot of control. Rather than having the wings stall on the tips, the nose stalls and then the nose drops, then you gain momentum and you can recover very quickly given an, enough altitude. What a nice slow flyer. What a beautiful looking plane. It definitely is the nicest looking plane. Nice. Very nice. One thing we could use is a catching handle on this. <laughs> 